Oi, 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 that is a long list of options. Welcome to today's video. I hope you're having a splendid day. I am Moz. In today's video, I thought I'll give you the five top or six whatever options that I think you need to have on your BMW G20 series. As you saw, the option list is long, but I hope I can convey the options, at least what I think are the ones to have that will increase your driving experience and also the enjoyment of your car. So that is the intention of today's video. I really, really do love this car. It is nice to drive, it is nice to look at, but some of that comes with the extra options which you need to pay for, which can be a bit expensive then, specifically when we are speaking of BMW and German cars in general. So that is that. Before we continue the video, if you do like the content of the channel, do remember to subscribe to support me. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and hit that bell icon to stay notified when I upload new videos. With that said then, let's jump into the options list. Let's start with the exterior. As you can see, we have this beautiful, beautiful December evening. It is Saturday and it is wet, muddy and cold. So we'll try to do the exterior part quickly and then jump inside and talk about what I think. With regards to the options that is intended for the interior parts of the car or where we can discuss them. As you can see, we have this beautiful, beautiful sunset orange color. But in my opinion, uh, un the color option is so much personal. So it's nothing that I think is needed to have a metallic color, etc. specifically on this car. I will leave it at that. But what I do think when we speak of the exterior of this car is the M Sport package. In my opinion, the M Sport package is a given on the G20 BMW 3 Series then, and also more or less on all BMWs. It enhances the look of the car so much, in my opinion. Disregard the 17-inch winter wheels, but the M Sport package do give so much to the visual aspect of this car that, it, in my opinion, comparing it to a standard model, so to speak, a sport model, or the luxury model or whatever the different option packages are the m sport really really stands out and let's start with the front so you would have a different front bumper i also have a different grille so i have the diamond style grille which enhances the look of the car even further i think i link to my installation video of that if you're interested and also going to the side the side skirts are also different in the m sport package we have the brakes of course which are these blue m sport brakes and they do really stand out as well they're really big uh, i don't know how much you would be driving fast in a in my case a 330e but they do bite well but when you push the car they do tend to fade so but i mean that's have to do with other stuff as well and not just the brakes then and going to the rear so this is a little bit different also on this uh, on my car compared to a standard m sport so i have changed the diffuser also i have a video for that and i have added this spoiler but in my opinion then again the m sport package brings so much to the exterior part of this car that i think it is almost a must because it do really enhance the look of the car while we are on the outside, let's speak of the suspension. So I have the adaptive M Sport suspension. That is also another must I think you should opt for. There is a great difference on how the car feels and how it behaves in different type of roads and situations. Either if you want to have it stiff, it becomes stiff. When you want to have it in comfort, it is actually comfortable. And I have been running 19 inch wheels on my car with the run flat tires, but still the car feels really, really comfortable when I need it to and sporty when I need it to. It's not like my MX-5 with coilovers, but still it becomes sporty enough for daily driving if you want to carve some roads or curves, etc. So in my opinion, you should opt for the M Sport package as well. And those two things are the most important one when it comes to the exterior. We have a lot of honorable second option list, so to speak. We have the black uh, mirror craps. We have the shutter line black and the shutter line black extended, which then deletes the chroma around the grill and around the windows and also gives you black tailpipes and so on. So those things I don't think are a must, but they do then enhance the exterior part of the car. So goes with the window tinting. 
if you want to do a tint, I would suggest you to do the factory ones. They are dark enough, but not pitch black, and it will be perfect as such, and you don't have to leave your car for a shop, etc., unless you get good price for the installation and you know who is doing it. So that is that with regards to the exterior parts of the car. Now let's jump inside and speak a little bit about the other options I think you should opt for then. So stepping inside directly we see the beautiful Alcantara seats with the full leather on the M Sport package and in my opinion these are great seats. They look nice and they feel nice. I didn't opt for any leather because I think these are sufficient for me. But now let's talk about some of the other parts on the interior which I think are important or a must have in my opinion at least. I would like to speak about the Harman Kardon system. I was not sure to opt for this or not, but I am really, really glad that I did opt for the Harman Kardon system because it gives that <laughs> So I was not satisfied with how the system sounded, but once it got broken in, so to speak, usually speakers can sound a bit different depending on how long you have listened to them, if they are new then, and the bass and the clarity actually really well separated and the voice, etc. I can't imagine driving without the system once I have it because then it enhances my daily driving routine, so to speak, and I do like my music and I do like to listen with a little bit higher volume, hence why I like the deeper bass, etc., which you get with the Harman Kardon system so if you're like me and also you enjoy your music and you want to listen a little bit on the louder side then I would definitely recommend the Harman Kardon system. The next option I don't know if it's an option or if it's included in some of the packages and also in which country you live in etc. In my opinion the live cockpit with the larger screen is a must in a car in 2019, 20, 21, etc. And it does really enhance the driving experience. You get your map, you get all the different type of information in here. You have the big touchscreen, which you can use for your driving. And also you also have, of course, the iDrive system, which is fantastic. It is the best system I have used this far. And if you then opt for the Live Cockpit Pro, most likely you would get the Android Auto and, uh, and Apple CarPlay included as well. And that also enhances the driving experience and ease of use of the car from a daily routine. So while we are on the subject of driving views or displays etc the most important thing in my opinion almost from a driving aid perspective is the head-up display. I don't think you can see it now I'll try to put in some b-roll footage. It is large, it is crisp, it is fantastic, it shows you everything you need to have and previously I mentioned about the live cockpit I barely look at the display but still the display is nice and it makes the feel of the car to be much much more modern and so on but the hood is really helpful I never take my eyes off the road so to speak because it shows me my navigation it shows me the speed and if I have the sport display it also shows the rev counter uh, or not the rev counter but uh, the shift lighting and so on and so on so I really really recommend you to get the head-up display if you then can opt for that on this car I also have the Park Assist Plus so it gives me a 360 view of what's going on around the car while parking and also you can self park etc. I have never used that because I, I don't dare but this camera system is fantastic it will help you out in tight spots and also when you're parallel parking etc etc you will know where the edges of the road are because you can see that on the cameras and so on and that really helps out as well let's say on my better halves car which only has reverse camera and the sensors it helps out but I do miss this system when I go into a car which doesn't have the 360 view I didn't honestly think that I would do so but once I have had it it is difficult to step into a car with which does not have it. So that is also something you should think of. On this car, I have the adaptive cruise control, which I almost use daily, but there is another option which enhances this even further. And that is more of a self-driving type of option, but I don't have it on this car because I don't do that much of highway driving. So if you are doing that, maybe that is an option to have a look at. If not, I do highly recommend the adaptive cruise control but again, then that's a personal taste. It's not a must, but it makes the daily driving easier for me sitting in uh, traffic, etc., etc. As mentioned, then there are a lot of honorable seconds here, which you may or may not think are important or not. 
One is the automatic opening of the trunk or deck lid. We have the comfort opening, meaning you don't have to have your key, you just touch the handle. This is also really nice, and I spoke about the tinted windows and Apple CarPlay. These are things potentially that might be included uh, standard in some countries in some packages or not, I don't know. But as you can see, the list is very long with things you can then opt for, but I do like the things I just mentioned. Without these things, I think this car would be a little bit on, not on the boring side, but it really enhances the driving experience in my opinion, and also the way the car looks. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Comment down below what options you did opt for or which ones you think are the most important. I didn't mention everything as I just said. The things I did cover are the things I think are the most important ones then. So if you have any comments or questions, etc., give me a heads up in the comment sections below and I will try to answer them the best I can. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Do remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay notified when I upload new videos and I will be seeing you on the next one.